how you doing? Good to have you. Thank you for, for dropping by and, and saying hello to me and, and enjoying it in a, a few minutes together. I always enjoy it. You know that? I really do. I enjoy having you. And uh, I want to say hello to everybody who has been kind enough to uh, send me emails and things like that. I always enjoy getting them. Sometimes I don't return the answer right away, but I hope you'll forgive me, you know. Anyway, um, I thought we'd, uh, we've been doing some, some sketching and some pencil work and some showing you a few things and how to, how to prepare yourself uh, for the painting and all, and that's the big thing. And a lot of people say, well, I can't draw, and I'm saying that's a bunch of hooey. You can draw if you want to. All it takes is practice. It's just like, you know, anything else. If you practice enough, you're gonna, you're gonna do okay. Uh, I know one thing that we have a problem with is uh, buildings. I, I see uh, some of us draw buildings and, and yet we don't seem to get everything. Uh, one end of it is up in the air and the other end is down and it, Kind of, kind of looks like uh, somebody with a Jake leg, and and uh, not good. So I'm going to show you a few tricks. I'm going to simplify this perspective business, so that uh, uh, at least you can get uh, the major idea. And let me let me mention this. I don't go with these vanishing points, and and uh, this vanishing point goes here, and this one goes here, and this one goes there, and. You know, that would drive me right up the wall, you know. By the time I get all the vantage points in, I don't want to know nothing. You understand me? I don't want to know a thing. Uh, I've, I've lost interest in, in what I'm doing. So I'm going to make it simple for you. And I know that that bothers you uh, because I see it in my classes. Uh, you know there's something wrong. You just don't know what to do. So uh, let's do a couple of simple little things. And one of them is going to be just a little simple uh, rooftop, and then we're going to add. And see, I didn't, I didn't enclose that whole thing. Can you see that? And so, when I put this back edge of the roof on, the front, the front of the roof has got to be the same direction. It can't be over here. And it can't be over there. It's got to be the same direction. Now, and it's the same here. This, this is the highest point of the building. And as the building goes away, this probably should be the same because it's a side, a side view. But I'm going to leave it just slightly lower. That gives it just a little bit more character. And as you know, you've been traveling around to see these old barns and old weathered buildings, and there's something about them that's just so much uh, character and fun to watch and, and uh, that type of thing. So what I want to do is just, and then I'm going to put the roof, uh, put the uh, roof line, say the bottom of the edge of the roof, say right there. Okay, now I'm going to look at this at a, at a three-quarter view, so that means that this side of, of the building has got to come at least to here or, or slightly lower. It can't stop up here unless the building is going to extend out, see? But if it's a freestanding building, this roof line And that's the eave, and that's going to come right there. Okay? Can you dig that? And I just filled that in just because I felt like filling it in. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, and, and then this roof line comes down. And this is going to go just slightly behind this roof line, okay? If you put it even, 
then where is this, where is, see the overhang, there's got to be an overhang there. If we have one on this side, nine out of ten times we'll have one on the other side, see? Isn't that right? Robert, isn't that right? Yeah, okay. And uh, I'm going to have the overhang now. I don't want it, I want it the same distance, so. Okay, now, here's what, I, here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be either the same, you know, d distance down, or maybe a little bit lower. Not higher, but lower. Not much, just a slight bit. And this one is the same way. We're going to, and notice I didn't draw the whole line across. I put one, two, three. Now all I'm going to do is connect those lines. If I made one line all the way across, I'm bound to get it, you know, off. So I just connect those lines now. Plus, it's, we're going to have to... All right. This is the highest point. This, we're looking at it from this angle, or this eye level. Eye level, remember that. And eye level, okay? So, I, so that's where we look at an object. It's the eye level. And so... Anything above this eye level line, we're going to see underneath, right? Anything below this, we're going to see head on or it's going to be below it. Below the, we're going to see on top of it, which means it's below the eye level. One side will be a little darker because the light source will come on the side. Let's do that, huh? And then the shadow underneath the eave. And the shadow underneath the eave depends on the time of day and how bright the light source is and how wide or how th the distance in in the eave. If the eave is a big eave and it's a wide one, then you're going to cast a lot more shadow. If it's just a thin eave and not not real big, it's going to cast just a medium size um, shadow. And there might be just maybe some phone poles or something in here that. And uh, maybe there's a window here. Notice I'm not fooling too much with the no curtains or anything. And then there's a door. See? Isn't that nice? Huh? And then we might have just a little bit of this stuff just runs out. And then same thing with this out there. And, and here... Now here's where we do, we get whacked also. Some of us leave this roof all the same value. Well, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But from there to there, this and this have got to be the same angle. Okay, have you got that? Good. And uh, maybe there's a small little one there and that'd probably be the restroom and that'll have a pipe on it, okay? And that pipe, the sun, the light source going that way, and that'll have a little shadow. And you see how much volume that shadow gave to the little, little pipe there. Okay, do you understand that? Will that help you out? Huh? Will it? Boy, I hope so. Because uh, I really want you to succeed. I want you to be good. I want you to be good at what you're doing. And, uh, and if, if this helps you, fine. If it doesn't, give me a call. Tell me what I've done wrong or tell me what we need to do. And we'll be very happy to do it. Because uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to help. We're here to help you. That's what we want to do. Okay? 
That's what we want to do. We want to help you. There we are. A little telephone pole there. Well, I hope this has helped you. I'm awfully glad to be with you. It's always nice to have you here at the studio. We'll talk to you later. Send me an email. Say hello to me. Glad to have you. Thank you for being here.